The liver fluke life cycle can be very confusing. If you try and illustrate it, there can be arrows flying everywhere, little snails, pools of water, eggs, larvae, tufts of grass, uh, feces, livers, lots of things. So today, I'm gonna explain it in a nice, simple, animated format. Starts with a single adult liver fluke, potential to lay 20,000 eggs a day, live in the bile system of the animal. You can have a small number or a big number like this, so hundreds. Eggs passed out in the feces, when it hits pasture, if conditions are right, within a couple of days or weeks, it'll hatch into a kind of a baby larvae that can move around the pasture. If conditions are also right, so heat and moisture, you'll have mud snails on the pasture. He's needed for the next part of the cycle. So this larvae has to find a mud snail within about half a day. But remember, it's raining eggs, 20,000 eggs from a single fluke. There's a multiplication phase over six weeks inside the snail and a single baby larvae will release about 600 to 1,000 infective fluke larvae. That's our snail there. So these insist, means they put on a helmet to protect themselves from conditions. They stick to grass and wait to be eaten. Once eaten, they arrive in the intestine, they exist or they lose that helmet and they turn into a baby liver fluke, an early immature. Just watch what happens now as he moves around the liver. So this represents the early immature and the immature stage. That's where your damage is done. He arrives then in the bile system, which is a picture we saw at the start. He's an adult and he begins to lay eggs and our cycle completes.